In this video, I wanted to install a new light here, but I only had one light switch. I needed two light switches, so I'm gonna show you how I made one light switch into two. Stick around. First things first, I wanted to kill power to the light switch. Then I could take the trim plate off, open it up, pull the light switch out. Before I do anything, I wanted to make sure I did kill the power to the box and I test everything with a voltmeter to make sure everything is not live. Then I could pull all the wires out and begin my work. I cut the old switch out and I put some wire caps on temporarily. Then I wanna get that old box out. So what I did here is put some tape on the wall. I take an old work double gain box and I flip it upside down and basically I wanna trace the remaining space on the wall. So I cover the hole, make sure it's nice and level, and then I wanna draw the rest of the box over my tape. This is gonna give me an outline of where to cut the new box in. Now I take a razor and just score the wall several times and then I could break out that drywall. Now I see what I have to work with here. I have this new work box that has these mounting locations and that means that there's two of these on the stud side as well so this box is screwed in or nailed into a stud on this side so i need to cut those little tabs off and i do that with a razor blade here then i pull all the wires out remove all the wire nuts and then now i can slide the old box out now i'm going to go ahead and install my new light and i start with a light mounting box and I simply trace that design on the wall. And I take a razor and just score it and then cut out the shape for the new mounting box. Now that that's in place, I can look down. I have my hole in place for the new switch box as well. So now I'm pretty much ready to go to install my new light and switch. I start by feeding a 14 gauge Aromex down through the light hole into the switch hole. Now I can go ahead and install my light mounting box by threading the Aromex wire through sticking the box on the wall and then screwing it into place and then i just simply put on my light mounting bracket that just kind of screws into place and then i can pull my wires out and start by grounding the ground wire to the ground screw on the mounting bracket now i can install the rest of the light i screw i twist the ground wires together i top that off with a wire nut and then i connect the white wire to the white wire and the black wire to the black wire and then use wire nuts to make them nice and secure. And then once all that's done, I can push all the wires back into the wall and go ahead and mount this light and simply slides over the, the mounting bolts and then there's some nuts that screwed into place and now the light fixture is mounted. Now I can install the old work box, but I needed to make some access points to get the wires in. So I just kind of push these little access points out of the way. I take the the wire from the light push it in and then the other wires and put them into the box as carefully as I could here and then I slide them all through and now I can push the new box back into my hole and again screw it into place with the mounting screws and now I can strip the new wire here this is a wire coming from the light again the new wire and then I'm gonna cut that to size and then strip the white and black wires about three quarters of an inch back so we have a power supply wire coming in. We also have a hot wire going out as well as a wire going out to an old light. Now what I wanna do is connect all the neutrals together. I screw them together or twist them together with Klein's pliers. Then I take a wire nut and make them nice secure. So now the neutrals are all connected. Now I'm gonna connect the hot wires and this makes sure that the hot wire coming into the box goes out to the other outlet. But I put on two pigtails and these pigtails will allow me to provide power to the switches. So now I have a setup here where I have two pigtail wires that provide hot feeds to my switches, but also keep the continuity to the existing hot wires in the box. Now I can go ahead and install the switches here. And before I do that, I make sure all the ground wires are connected, twist them together, and then I connect the grounds to the ground screws on the switches. And each switch was a little different in this case. This one has a grounding screw. The other one had a special grounding wire that came off it and I wire nutted that into place into my ground wires in the box. Now I can connect the switches to the hots. I put my red switch feed, which was the old switch leg out to the old light, slide that into the switch 
and take my new hot wire and place it into the switch. Now that old switch is hooked up. And I do the same thing for the new switch. I've put in the, the wire that goes out to the light and then the wire that comes in for the power support, then the wire that comes in for the power supply. And now my switches are ready to go. Just have to push them back in the box and mount them in place and they are good to go. Put the trim cap back on, screw that in place, and now I have my two functional switches in my new light. So thanks for watching guys. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. I'm Joe Kistel, and thanks for watching.